My name is Costas. I run a company called Story and Search. We're a digital PR agency. I have worked in digital for seven slash coming up to eight years now. Started off in the SEO space and as time progressed and as backlinked and Google became more sophisticated, I transitioned and moved predominantly into digital PR, which, which in all fairness, um, is very, very much connected to SEO. So around eight years experience in digital, absolutely fell in love with SEO. And initially it was all about the rankings and that was kind of my initial pull in the space. And then, as I say, digital PR seemed to become the, the standout factor for me. I love the thought of being able to generate top tier coverage for, for inter at the time I was working internally. So for the brand I was working for, and then, as I say, at this stage now, it's working with clients and generating coverage for those guys. So yeah, absolutely in love with all things digital marketing, but digital PR is, is my, is my thing. People think that ideas just tend to spring up out of nowhere, but there is a process behind coming up with ideas. It's quite, it's quite um, time consuming and sometimes frustrating task, but actually, you know, once you've created something that's, that's, that you can see in the mainstream media, generating quality backlinks, it's all worth it. You know, that's, that's what you do it for basically. Wow, so BuzzZoom has really been a part of what I've been doing since since I started the business, really. I, I jumped on and just had a little look further and fell in love with it. I thought this is exactly that missing link that I was looking for. The past six months, I've, I've been using it religiously like every single day. I use it for multiple things. One of the biggest things I use it for is ideation. Um, ideation for, for, for me and what we do in digital PR is the core of our campaigns and the idea has got to be newsworthy, it's got to be shareable and it's got to get the results that we're aiming for, which nine times out of 10 is top tier um, press coverage across not just UK based, but global um, global pieces of coverage in some of the largest, some of the largest publications in the world. And Buzzumo is absolutely pivotal to what's achieving that. Without Buzzumo, we would, we would struggle. Content analyzer is key for us because what it enables us to do from an ideation perspective is we're able to select some topics we have interest around in terms of building some ideas around, but we want to make sure that A, journalists and people are talking about it, B, the engagement is there. So even if journalists have put something out, it's not, not going to really work for us if no one's really speaking about it. So I want to make sure that the engagement is there. And Buzzumo gives us those metrics. It shows us um, what journalist or who's created the content, the engagement level that we're that, that, that piece of content has received across Twitter, Facebook, and so on. And so we really look at those metrics to see if it's a worthwhile topic. And if it is, then we can go to the next stage. When you've entered your topic in the content analyzer, go to page 20. And if on page 20, you still have a total engagement of 50 or more, then that is a great place to say, this is a topic worth working on. If you go to Bazumo and you type in a topic and after page two, the engagement falls off a cliff, then you're probably gonna wanna rethink A, the search query you're putting on Bazumo or rethink the topic altogether from an ideation perspective. So some of the success stories, I mean, one brings to mind of recent times was um, quite a fun one, actually. So we was working with a bathroom design company and they sold a specific type of toilet roll holder, which was designed to make sure that you put the toilet roll on the holder the right way. And so we did some research in Bozumo around this topic we, we saw that actually it'd been written about before and then because we was able to look on Buzzumo and see the success that that campaign had we put our own spin to that and Buzzumo basically gave us the fuel if you like to go away and say this would work if we added a bit more of our own twist to it so we went away and put some more um, data around this we looked at what uh, what people are currently doing. So we, we surveyed people to see if they were doing it the right or wrong way. But by using Bozuma, we had these these tools, if you like, this information that enabled us to go away and put this campaign together. And it achieved some great success. We got coverage in the Daily Mail, the CERN, um, Yahoo News, MSN News, 
And I actually believe it was spoke about on a US talk show. So that was really cool as well. But yeah, definitely I can attribute the success of that campaign to the information that Buzzumo gave us for sure. I think Buzzumo is absolutely fantastic. I, I couldn't do my day-to-day -day without it. And I'm not just saying that for this case study. I actually couldn't do my day-to-day -day job from an ideation perspective in particular without the, um, the, the wealth of information that Buzzumo gives. I never knew it existed a few years ago, but when it did come to, you know, when it did come to my attention, I was just like, wow, where's this, where's this tool been hiding? So yeah, uh, absolutely love it.